Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing another foundation review of a really cheap foundation. Um, just because last time I did like a kind of foundation testing video, you guys seem to really enjoy it. I really like filming them because I really like seeing how foundations hold up throughout the day. Um, and I also love the fact that the foundations that I've been testing recently have been pretty cheap. Um, so the one that I'm going to be testing today is the W7 Singing in the Rain Waterproof Foundation. And if you have been subscribed to my channel for quite a while, you will know that I have used this before in a testing waterproof makeup video. Um, it did actually hold up when I like sprayed myself in the face with the shower. But just because the weather has been so hot recently, I thought I would give this like a full test throughout the day. Day, um, and see how it lasts. So I'm going to be like updating you guys, showing you how it applies, um, showing you how it lasts on my oily skin. So yeah, there we go. Going to be doing that. Also, just one thing, I've been getting quite a lot of comments recently telling me that you guys haven't been receiving my videos in your subscription boxes, um, which really sucks, YouTube. Like, what are you doing? But I do want to say, if you are new here or if you are old here, um, make sure you're subscribed down below. And also, if you press the little like bell next to the subscribe button and turn my notifications on, that would be super super helpful because then you will get notified. Well, you should get notified if YouTube like follows through. You should get notified when I upload a new video, and I would appreciate that so so much so yeah thank you in advance also another good way to see if i've uploaded a new video is i normally post it on snapchat or instagram or like my social media all of my social medias are just soap does nails so there we go just plugging myself i feel like i look very naked right now like if i duck down i look like i'm naked but i am actually wearing a bardo top if you're wondering why my face is like paler than my neck it's because i do have a bit of tan on and i did have it on my face but it just wears off your face quicker than it does on your body so this is the foundation it's the w7 singing in the rain waterproof foundation and I have the shade buff which I think is the lighter shade but when I'm normally like pale like as you can tell this is what my normal face color is um, this is too dark for me but when I have a tiny bit of tan on this is a really good color so the price of this foundation on the W7 website is £6.95 however I got this on eBay and I think it was about four pounds when I got it. The prices on eBay range between like three pound fifteen is the cheapest and then like six pounds is the most expensive. I think when I got this I got it for about four pounds so it's really really affordable. And obviously I have used this before in my testing waterproof makeup video and I think in my testing W7 makeup video as well but I haven't given it like a full test on camera like a full review so I thought I, what I would do today is put it on now in the morning. The time is currently... 11.52 a.m. Um, so I'm gonna put it on now and then I'm gonna literally wear it all day and like check back in for you guys. So I'm just gonna get started. It's not too thick, but it's also not too liquidy. It's kind of like a nice medium. Um, and the one thing that I don't like about this is you can't really control how much comes out of the pump. Like you can sort of, if you're like really, really careful, like if you press it down like a tiny bit, but like a lot of the time you'd press down the pump and like one pump will just shoot out. Like it's quite hard to control how much you pump out, if that makes sense. And I found the best way to blend this out is to use a damp sponge. This is the Real Techniques one, which I have like ripped to pieces trying to wash it with these fingernails. So I'm just gonna blend that out. So I probably use like a pump and a half, maybe like a pump and a third. <laughs> and as you can see, it has really, really nice coverage. And I find that just using a damp like beauty sponge, something like this one or like the beauty blender or whatever you want to use, I just find that it gives it like such a nice finish. Okay, so as you can see with the amount that I put on, it has a really nice coverage. Um, and as you can probably tell, it is a very dewy foundation. So I obviously have oily skin, if you didn't know that already. So I'm definitely gonna have to set this with a powder. Um, but if you have dry skin, I feel like you might like this because it's very dewy and it does feel very like moisturizing. I feel like it just gives such a nice finish. Like it doesn't pick up on any dry patches at all. Um, when you put it on, like it doesn't look super cakey. Um, I feel like it looks extra shiny just because I'm under two like massive softbox lights. But in like day to day life, it doesn't look quite this shiny. It's just the fact that I'm like, you know, under big lights. I'm just gonna do a little closer up shot for you guys. So this is what it looks like a little bit closer up. As you can see, like, the finish of it is just really nice. Like, it hasn't picked up on any dry patches. It's super kind of, like, glowy and fresh looking. 
and I also feel like it's a pretty good match for like the rest of my body when I have a bit of tan on, so that's great. So I'm just gonna like finish off the rest of my face as normal. I'm gonna use um, some of my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me, which is what I've been really liking when I've been tanned these past couple of days. Um, and again, I'm just gonna like blend those out. Okay, so finally I'm gonna powder my face using the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Face Powder. Um, just to set everything in place because obviously if I did not set this it would literally come straight off my face because my face is so oily And I would normally set my face so it's not like I'm doing anything different to my normal routine Okay, so now that I've set my face you may think that my face looks a little bit dry And it does start out, start out looking a little bit dry But trust me I need the powder because throughout the day like in a couple of hours time my face will be looking dewy again <laughs> So right now I'm really happy with the way that it looks um, I will come back to you guys when I've done like my full face of makeup um, So I'm probably gonna look very different in the next clip sorry if I startle you um but yeah and then obviously I'm gonna check back in with you guys throughout the day so I will see you guys in a bit okay so hello I'm back I have returned I have my makeup on um I've like you know done my contour highlight eyeshadow mascara eyebrows lipstick um so I've now had my makeup on and I think I've had the foundation on for about about like 45 minutes now I think um the time is currently 12:35. I can't actually remember when I put it on. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. I feel like now that I have my makeup done, it looks just as good as it did when I first started wearing my mirror. I feel like it's starting to sink into my smile lines very, very slightly just because I have been talking. I just filmed like another video of me like doing this makeup. Um, but yeah, other than that, like so far, like it's not oily or anything. Um, it's not doing anything weird so far. It still looks really good. So I will check back in with you guys in maybe a couple of hours time and we will see how it lasts. Okay, so I'm back again. Hello. It is now currently 4.15 in the afternoon. So this has been on my face for about four and a half hours, I think. Um, so far, it's not looking too bad. This is what it looks like. By the way, I just want to point out, I have changed my outfit and also my hair might look a bit messy. Because if you think that YouTubers stay in like the same outfit that they wear in their videos all day, then you're wrong. I normally just will like wear a pretty top in my video and then as soon as I finish filming, I'll take it off so that I don't, you know, ruin it and then I can wear it again. But anyway, this is what the foundation is looking like. Let me just grab my mirror and do a little close-up inspection. Um, so, it's not looking too bad. I mean, it's starting to look a bit oily, like around my nose. Ooh, I've got a little black mark. Yeah, so it is starting to look a little bit oily around my nose and my forehead and a little bit on my cheeks here. Um, I don't know if you can see when I kind of look straight ahead. I have really big pores that start from like just under my eyes here um, and they tend to get oily, oilier quicker than like my under eyes. Um, and so like I have these like lines here. Um, it started to sink into my smile lines a little bit. However, I mean, so far it's not doing it too badly. I feel like I definitely have other foundations that last longer on my oily skin, but then again, my skin is very oily, so after about like four and a half, five hours of wearing a foundation, I would expect it to be looking oily. Um, and what I would normally do at this stage is powder, but I think I'm gonna leave it like another hour or so before I powder my face, just because I want to, you know, give it a proper run. But it is definitely starting to look pretty oily on my nose, like, I feel like the rest of my face looks a little bit more dewy, but it's not as bad. Whereas on my nose, it definitely just looks like oil. So yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna do a little close up. Okay, so now that I'm nice and up close and personal, hopefully you can see the foundation a little bit better. You can see it's starting to get oily on my nose and then a little bit on my forehead and kind of like the bridge of my nose as well and my cheeks. So this is what it is looking like, oh by the way, I took my lipstick off just because it was annoying me. So that is my little update. I will check back a bit later on. Okay, so I'm back again. Wait a second, I'm just gonna move you a little bit closer. Okay, so I think it's now been about another hour since I updated you guys. It's quarter past five now, and I think I just updated you at like quarter past four. So the makeup has now been on my face for about five and a half hours now um so i am actually getting to the point where i feel like i desperately need to powder my face just because um like i was trying something on a minute ago and i felt like if my nose touched my clothes or just touched anything it would like transfer off just because my nose is now looking pretty oily so as you can see i'm getting oily pretty much everywhere like uh, around here. I feel like my pores are starting to be emphasized a little bit more around here But that always happens when my skin gets oily um, and definitely like around My nose like down my nose in between my eyebrows and a little bit on my forehead. My forehead isn't so bad um, But yeah, there we go. 
And in terms of my smile lines, my foundation always seems to settle into my smile lines really easily. I feel like this one isn't quite as bad. I mean, it has sunk in a little bit, but I think it could just be because I haven't been doing that much talking today. Okay, so I'm just gonna repowder my face using my Rimmel Match Perfection again, um, just because I feel like if I don't powder my face, it's just gonna turn into a bit of an oily mess. And at this point in the day anyway, if I noticed my face was looking like this, I would definitely powder, so. You know, I'm just sticking to what I would normally do. A lot of people have recommended blotting sheets to me. Um, and I did try some, but I found that when you use the blotting sheets, my foundation just came off onto it. And then I was left with like random patches where like my makeup looked really bad. <laughs> Does anybody else get that? Okay, so I feel like my face looks so much better now that I've powdered. Like compared to when I had on earlier, the only things that are different is that it started to wear off a little bit around my nose. Okay, so again, another super unflattering close-up. Um, as you can see, like, around my nose, it's mostly on this side of my nose here. Uh, you can really see, like, the pores um, and, like, the redness starting to come through. Hopefully, you can see what I'm seeing there. Okay, so, I'm back again. Please excuse my hair. Like, if you're wondering what is going on with it, so am I. I have been just, like, lying on the sofa. And I don't even know what I've done. The time is currently quarter past nine. Um, so I have had this foundation on my face for I think nine and a half hours because I put it on at like quarter to 12. So yeah, I've had this foundation on for nine and a half hours, which I think is a pretty good time to test it. And overall, after wearing this for nine and a half hours, I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, it has definitely separated on my nose and around my nose especially is where like the worst areas are um it's come off of my chin a little bit and it has sunk into my smile lines but the rest of my face considering it's been on for nine and a half hours i feel like really isn't looking that bad um i think on the softbox lights to be fair they do blur out quite a lot i will do a close-up in a second i feel like my smile lines and the area around my nose and just my nose in general is like the problem area but then my nose in general is also like the area that gets most oily on my face so i kind of was expecting that okay so here is a really unattractive close-up as you can see in it is sunken into my smile lines um, and around my nose here and here and also like on my nose as well It's separated quite a little bit and it started to like show my pores and stuff I feel like on my cheeks it has stayed like pretty pretty well on my forehead It has stayed pretty well, but yeah the areas where I get the oiliest is where it's kind of like worn off a little bit And it's starting to look a little bit dodgy compared to other foundations that I have I feel like this for the price I think is a really good foundation considering I paid I'm pretty sure I paid four pounds for this it is held up pretty damn well but I've had foundations that are so much worse than this like some foundations I'll put on and after five hours they're looking like they are now so I feel like it's is like it's not bad I wouldn't say it's my favorite foundation in the world but it's done a pretty good job I mean obviously I did like powder halfway through the day which definitely helped I think if I'd have left it any longer without powdering then it would have been a bit of a disaster um but yeah I would say overall like it's really not a bad foundation and I think especially if you have like either dry or combination skin then you're really gonna like this and I would highly recommend giving it a go the only downside is the color range really is not great um, I think I have buff here which is the lightest shade and I wear this when I have fake tan so if you're paler than me then you're gonna need to mix in some kind of like white mixer with this which really sucks and obviously I'm not sure how um, dark they go either I imagine they don't go like down very dark which is also terrible um, so yeah that's another downside but if you can find your shade in this foundation I would definitely recommend giving it a try if you want to see how much it like holds up in the shower and stuff then I do have a video of me testing waterproof makeup which I will put in the cards so if you're interested go check that out. So that is it from me. I think I am now going to go and take off my makeup, take out my contact lenses because my eyes are like drying up. Really need to put my glasses back on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if like this outro is a little bit more like calm and relaxed and like run down than normal. It's just because I'm really, really tired. And these softbox lights are just like making me want to close my eyes right now. If you're new to my channel and you have liked this video, I would love it if you would subscribe, join our little fam that we've got going on. Um, I do a lot of like drugstore videos and like haul videos. Um, makeup tutorials, first impression videos, um, foundation review videos, I definitely want to do more foundation reviews, um, worth the hype videos, I've got some more of those coming up, challenges, um, so yeah, hopefully if you're interested in that kind of stuff then you will subscribe, and I would really appreciate it if you turn my notifications on as well, um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there, I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video, bye!